The technology company of the Communist Party of China, which is affiliated with military and intelligence agencies in Beijing, has secretly collected the personal information of millions of people in the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, India, and Japan. The Australian Financial Review said on September 13 that the company, whose main clients were the Chinese military, had been named Shenzhen Zhenhua Data Company, which used classified data from the Chinese intelligence services and the Department of Homeland Security. The company's database collects the personal information of about 2.4 million foreigners. The company's database collects the personal information of about 2.4 million foreigners, and China has described the information of 250,000 individuals through passwords. Of these, there are 52,000 Americans, 40,000 British, 35,000 Australians, more than 10,000 Indians, and 5,000 Canadians. Many of them are high-ranking politicians, members of the royal family, religious leaders, military generals, and other celebrities. China put a number on all of these people. Details of this personal information include the date of birth, address, marital status, family members, relatives, political associations, social relations, and social media identifiers, most of which are taken from social media and other public materials on the internet, but some data has been stolen from web records and applications, jobs and archives from documents and obtained through dark websites. Professor Christopher Balding, an American scientist and cybersecurity expert who came across the data for the first time, said that when he began researching Huawei data operations last year, someone had mistakenly sent him a huge data message from the previous company. According to what Balding said, this huge discovery is similar to the discovery of the Holy Grail, and we understood the amount of Chinese investment in the media and its influence is still in its infancy. And that what China is doing represents a great threat and that it must be controlled domestically and internationally, not only affected by its own citizens but also by the citizens of the world, and that it intends to establish a state of mass surveillance.